afternoon, everyone. My name is Naya Swami Padma, and I'm here today to bring you a little piece of inspiration from Yogananda's original teachings through Swami Kriyananda's autobiography, The New Path. And uh, today, the excerpt I'd like to read to you says, in January 1949, he put me into office work, he meaning Paramahansa Yogananda, and me meaning Swami Kriyananda, answering letters. I typed them in my room, since at the time there was no separate office for the monks. At first, my letters tended to be too long. I once knew a lady novelist, the master told me one day, by way of advice, who ended her letters with, if I'd had more time, this letter would have been shorter. He corrected me at times, too, on the best ways of presenting our teachings to others. And I love this particular excerpt because it's so invaluable really in all aspects of life, not only the spiritual life. But uh, for today, I'm going to talk about that particular aspect as Yogananda gave that as his advice. In other aspects of life, I know in various organizations, they have what they call the elevator speech, meaning that if you had to convey to somebody what your organization does, can you do that in the time that you get on an elevator and go up a floor? Basically, you just have a minute, maybe two, to describe it and use, you know, it takes an enormous amount of focus to be able to do that. And you have to practice it over and over until you sort of get it down into that nutshell. And that is the best way to also convey spiritual teacher teachings in that little kernel of wisdom that it is first conveyed also to us. Because there's two things that happen when we use too many words. In the first place, words do not convey truth. They do not convey the meaning that we think they might convey. And so people will uh, sort of glom onto, especially if we use a lot of words, glom onto some words or a phrase that we might use that isn't central to the truth we're trying to convey. And off they go into a tangent that is taking them further and further away from the meaning that we're trying to convey. And the other aspect of it is that truth, because words are not conveyed by truth, truth is conveyed by experience. And so the more uh, succinct the truth is that we try to convey, the more people have to reach inside for their own intuitive understanding of it. And that's how truth is actually conveyed through intuition. Intuition is the soul's uh, experience of God. And that's how Yogananda explained it. And so we, we understand a truth by reaching for that intuitive understanding that is within us. And that was Yogananda's meaning in this council to Swami Kriyananda. And Swami Kriyananda 
conveyed truth so beautifully through the years in 150 books and over 400 pieces of music and probably hundreds of thousands of letters of counsel to people. Succinct, simple, stated in a manner that allows us to take it within and absorb the truth in that little kernel of teaching. Joy to you, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Blessings. Bye-bye.